Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. It is two years ago to the very date that My Virgin Kitchen was born. Right now, it is January 2012, so Happy New Year everyone, yay, and all that. Um, I went away to Wales for a few days, I had a great time. Um, I decided not to film anything because it was you know, a nice family time, nice to have a sort of rest from doing the videos. And for those of you that messaged me and said, Barry, you haven't put a video up for like five days. You know, give me a rest guys, you know, it's, it's nice to chill out sometimes. So uh, I'm back, you know, it's all good. It's 2012 and I'm going to do something healthy. So uh, this is cornflake chicken and all the ingredients you need are right here. So just hit pause right now and write them all down. It's basically cornflakes, like you have for cereal, okay, in the bag there, covered in chicken because it's healthy. It's January, I've had four separate requests for this and I've heard the recipe is pretty darn good. So we're going to twist it on its head. I've not just got normal cornflakes, I've actually got some uh, crunchy nut ones as well. I didn't really want to push it and go for the chocolate cornflakes, I'm not really feeling that right now. But yeah, it's like January so everyone gets into that fitness regime so I've had a few requests for that. And uh, you know, the first week in January, particularly after Christmas, everyone's overdone it a little bit. You look out your window and you will see people running down your road in trainers, you know, with their headgear on, iPod, you know, listening to the music, really, really pounding the streets. Fitness regime. This time next week, I guarantee you, they will not be there. Yeah. So anyhow, let's get on and cook this, and I'm being told it's going to be very nice, so uh, let's, let's do it. Okay then guys, so we're going to start off preparing our vegetables. I'm going to just chop up my peppers, chop up these spring onions. In fact, let me just take off the nibs here, the nasty hairy bummy bits like that. So you just don't want these bits right there. And one other thing, it's really, really windy outside. So if the wind blows down my fence in a minute, I might have to stop this video short and put it up because uh, it is blowing a gale out there right now. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just chopping up my spring onions nice and thinly like so. I'm going to use a little bit in my sweet potato mash. That'll be enough. And I'm also going to put some in with the chicken. Just a teeny bit, but just enough. You know? So now, the sweet potato, we're going to peel this baby. I'm just so scared of it. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of it. Yep, so a sweet potato, it looks kind of nasty, but if you go like this with the potato peeler, it does kind of get a little bit nicer like that, okay? It looks a little bit more appealing, so just peel it all off there to get that light orangey colour. Then we're going to cut it up into sort of eight. So we're going to have it, have it again. One, two, three, four, and then have it again. That's, that's eight. Okay, so with my sweet potato, I've got it in half there like this. The other half is down there, I've already cut it up. So just cut it, slice down there like so. Then grab your knife, cut it again down the middle like that. It is quite tough. Get it like that, and then carve it again. to ching So you've got quarter pieces looking like this. That is what you want, and it'll cook a lot quicker that way. Yeah. Peppers next. Right here, so with the peppers like so, I've already cut my orange one up. All I'm going to do is just cut down like so, take off the lid, and then work my way around. In fact, let me speed this up. You see me do this a thousand times. Okay, so I'm left with that funky lid like that, and what you can do now is just literally just chop down like this, just to get funky squares like that. Peppers there, red peppers, orange peppers, all good, ready to go. So what I'm going to do is plonk them in a dish like this, get some olive oil on it, oven bake them. Oh my god, they're going to taste good. Okay, so the peppers are in the oven proof dish, I'll come back to that in just a sec. I've got a pan of cold water here, let's put it on that flame there. I'm going to gradually warm it up, not in any rush to it. That's going to be our water for our mashed potato. Cha-ching. Anyhow, peppers there, they need a little bit of olive oil on there, so let's just, uh, not too much, don't want to coat it too much, but if you wanted to, you could add some herbs in there with it, you could season it with salt and pepper, but that's just going to give it a nice funky glaze and cook it nice and fast. Oh my god, I love, I love other roasted peppers. Yeah. Okay, so while you're waiting for your water to boil, it's just doing its thing. We're not in any rush, like I said before. It's nearly there, in fact. Peppers are sat there chilling out. We're going to bash up our cornflakes, okay? What I want to do is get them nice and fine, okay? I want to show you, okay? It's really important. Can you see the little bits right there? That is how fine you want it. You don't want big, chunky bits like that. Otherwise, it'll just look like one of those chocolate cornflake cakes. You don't want that, okay? So just keep going. You want it that sort of fine breadcrumb texture. Okay, so once you're happy with it, like this, that is all nice and fine. Just pour it into a bowl, like that. Oh wow, okay, that is so fine right there. Check that out, all good. So that is ready, we can now move on to make our sauce. Okay, let's make this dressing, really simple. First thing I've got is some light ranch dressing here. I'm just gonna pour that in, that's six tablespoons. You can add any dressing you want really, you make your own, make it nice and light, make it really unhealthy if you want. But this is a bit of a health freak uh, recipe, so uh, I'd go for the healthy if you can. Okay, so now I've taken away a third of my spring onions, chopped them up a little bit more, and I'm just gonna chuck them in there with it. I've also got myself a pinch of salt, in that goes, cha-ching. And in here is some Parmesan cheese, that's about a tablespoon. I'm gonna pour that in. Now we don't normally add Parmesan in with this if they're going for the Weight Watchers recipe, but I love Parmesan cheese, so I'm turning it a little bit more unhealthy right now. 
but this is going to make a funky dressing. I'm going to dip our chicken in this, believe it or not, but we need to save a third of it. Okay, we need to add a little bit of pepper in. This is the first time ever I'm going to use my pepper mill, so I just thought I'd show you. I'm kind of excited how, how sad is that. Anyhow, a little bit going in there. Let's go. Here we go. This is a monumental moment for me. If you want to name the pepper mill, uh, yeah, so feel free to send me a message. Just a little bit in there, around about a teaspoon. Stir that through. Oh wow, that is looking good. So we're going to reserve a third of it to pour actually with our salad leaves and the rest we're going to dip our chicken in. Okay folks, I've just taken a third of my dressing out and put it in a bowl there. I'm just going to put that to one side over there right now. And this is what our chicken will be dumped into. So let's just get ourselves a nice little chicken run, if you excuse the pun, right along here. Yeah. Okay then folks, here we go. We have got our chicken breasts here. I bought a pack of three and the actual third one was teeny. I don't know why they do that. Supermarket people, why do you do that? I don't, I don't understand that. Anyhow, so we've got one and a half normal cornflakes, one and a half crunchy nut cornflakes we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to get our piece of chicken. I'm actually going to start with a small piece first of all, just to show you. We're going to dip it into our sauce like so. Get your hand in there. Oh lush. All good like that. See, it's holding. It's what you want. And we're going to dip this one in. Let's go for the crunchy nut one. And you'll see, just off camera, I have got myself um, a tray, which I've covered in spray oil. So just gonna pick that up like so, plonk it at the back there, set it in there, and that's all good. Our oven is preheated to gas Mark 7, which um, in centigrade, I don't know what that is right now. In fact, let me put it right there. And it all cooks together, so it's kind of cool. We just gotta get our chicken done, put on our potatoes and peppers at the same time, and boom, it's ready. There we go then, they're all nice and lightly coated. As you can see, you could probably add some more cornflakes if you wanted to, but there's just enough on there to get that real crunch impact that I'm after there. We've got the crunchy nut cornflakes one side, the normal ones the other, because Mrs. Barry does not want crunchy nut cornflakes. She likes her cornflakes normal, baby. In fact, you might be like that. Why not try Lucky Charms? Mm. So all we've got is our chicken, which is going to go in the oven at the same time as the pepper. We're going to rotate it. All you're wanting is that chicken to be nice and cooked through, nice and white, almost sort of getting golden brown underneath, you know? You're going to love it. Um, so yeah, the peppers are going to get all blistered and funky and lush. Potatoes, that water is ready. In fact, let's try and do this right now. Oh wow, yeah, didn't really want to do that. That nearly burnt my hand. Yeah, don't do that. Be careful and don't hold a camcorder when you do it. Okay, so that's cool. And we've got a little bit of dressing there to go with our salad leaves. Let's get that all in the oven together and we're cooking, baby. That's, that's what we're doing right now, I think. Right ho, so here's my oven and I've got my chicken and my peppers there. I'm gonna go for the peppers on the top first of all, and then the chicken down the bottom. And around about seven to eight minutes in, I'm gonna rotate them, I'm gonna spin them as well, and swap shelves. Spin them, swap shelves, you like that? Anyhow, I'm gonna shut that. All I've got to do is add my dressing to my salad, and then I can have a rest, like this. Okay, so I've got my salad leaves here. I've literally just given a wash under the tap and my little bit of dressing that I spooned out there. Let's just get that in there. I've got a wooden spoon here. In fact, a little bit of leave on the finger there. Ah, let me get that off. Tastes good. Just going to stir it through like this. Maybe a bigger bowl would have been better. But I'm just going to tell you a quick story. I used to have two wooden spoons, okay? And I've now only got one because of this. Yep, that was a picture of a broken wooden spoon. Right, I finished stirring that there, so I'll actually tell you the story face to face. But check this out, look. Our sweet potato is boiling away there, all doing its thing. It's just sort of going, yeah, I'm having a good time in the hot tub. So yeah, uh, Mrs. Barry decided to surprise me and make a Jamie Oliver chocolate popcorn bomb recipe uh, just before I broke up for Christmas. And uh, it involved sort of, sort of compressing popcorn into a mixing bowl to get it nice and firm. And so rather than using your hand, uh, she tried to use a wooden spoon and hacked it. Sorry, that looked a bit rude. And uh, she managed to snap a wooden spoon. Incredible strength by Mrs. Barry there. That is the power of a pregnant woman. And uh, by the way, for those of you saying about Mrs. Barry, how's she getting on? Two weeks to go to the due date and she is big. We are ready for this baby, people. We are ready. Okay then, folks, it is sweet potato time, sweet potato time. Uh, yeah, check these out. Sweet potatoes, I've got a little stab room there when I sort of hacked into it with my... Sorry, I didn't mean to do that with my hands again. Uh, yeah, it's just sort of flesh wound. Like that with a knife and uh, it was nice and soft so we're going to drain off that boiling water keep the potatoes in there we're going to mash away and then we're going to pour in the spring onions and a knob of, a knob of butter is this getting like quite sexual i'm going to stop doing this knob of butter spring onions stir it through all good i've just checked the peppers they're on the bottom shelf now anyway they're all nice and blackened and they're sweet and they're, oh my god it smells so good right in here the chicken is on the top shelf it's white but you want to make sure it's cooked all the way through pink chicken is bad pink chicken is bad Okay folks, if you've ever had a dream about drained off sweet potatoes, you will know that is what it looks like. I'm just going to chunk in a knob of butter like so, just slide that in there. And also our spring onions, just, just uh, get those in there, the rest of them, in they go, like so. All good. So, let's give it a teeny bit of a stir, get that butter all around it. Coat it up on the top there. Okay, cool. You can see how much that wants to break down. It's almost like the texture of cooked swede as well. So let's just push it. And mash it. 
Okay guys, so after a couple of minutes mashing, wow, that is all bonded together like that. Can you see that in there? It's probably steaming up the camera a little bit, but that is what it's looking like. You can add some cream in there if you want, some skim milk, if you're feeling a little bit freaky, but I'm just gonna have it like that. It's your mashed potato, make it your own. I'm gonna get out my peppers and chicken right now. Right here, I just got my chicken out and I'm sure I just heard my fence blow down, but don't worry about it, we'll, we'll move on, we're nearly done now. Uh, the chicken, I'm not sure if you can see, if you can, you can spot it, but I have put a flesh wound in it. Kind of does look like KFC anyway, it's right there, just to make sure that it is cooked through, because there's the worst thing in the world is to cook chicken, make sure you think that it looks good, and you bite into it and it's pink, and then you got to chuck it away, that is not good, and Mrs. Barry will kill me if that happens. Okay, so the peppers, look how blackened they are, that is all nice and cool, wow. Mashed potato there, salad there, I'm going to plate it up right now. I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like. Meow. Okay then folks, here we go, we've got a dish. I don't know why I've had this tea towel on there the whole time. I do apologize about that. I'm going for like a purple theme. Right, let's get some chicken on there. I'm gonna go for the crunchy nut stuff. Amazing. Spoon on some mash around there. Let's go. Beautiful, that is all on there. Loving that. Let's just get some salad and peppers on there at the same time. Bang, bang. Yeah. And there we go, that is it all done. The salad and the peppers. Can you see how black they are? Amazing, that has really added to it. I am gonna eat this right now. Wow. Right then guys, I've got a massive forkful here, bit of everything on there, and I'm going for the crunchy nut cornflake one, because I'm hardcore. We're taking cooking to places it's never been before. Well actually, places it's probably been before lots of times, but we're just going there again. But anyhow, let's go for it. it smells incredible. Mmm, oh. Mmm. Wow, it literally just hit, when I hit my mouth right then, wow, the flavour just jumped in. Mmm. That is really good, and balanced with that dressing there, the chicken is actually nice and sort of soft and tender, it's not too dry. I'm loving it. The mash is good, the peppers are good, the salad's good, the chicken is amazing. I am loving that. Absolutely loving it. Good start to the year. So if I can make it, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on and I will see you again next time. Cheers then.